Welcome to another video. Today, let us answer the set of questions from 42 to 45 in the Metrobank MTAP Math Challenge 2019 Elimination Round for Grade 9 and I hope you will learn a lot from this video. On number 42, the diagonals of parallelogram ABCD meet at P. If PA equals X square, PC is X plus 6 and PD is 2X minus 1, we are going to find the measure of PB. So to find the measure of PB, let us illustrate the given. Since we have a parallelogram, so let us draw a parallelogram. And whenever you name a parallelogram, it should be consecutive. It should be A, B, C, and D. And since we have a diagonal, meet at P, the measure of PA is X square, PC is X plus 6, and then PD is 2X minus 1. So the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to equate PA and PC because they are congruent. So we have X square equals X plus 6. And we are going to move x plus 6 to the side of x square. It will give us x square minus x minus 6 equals 0. And then let us find the factors of this expression. So the factors of x square is x and x. And what are the two numbers? If we multiply, we can get negative 6. If we add, we can get negative 1. And that is negative 3 and, neg and positive 2. And then let us equate this one to 0. So x minus 3 equals 0. And x plus 2 equals 0. So x is positive 3. x is negative 2. So which of the following values of x are we going to use? If you are going to substitute negative 2 on the value of 2x minus 1, you are going to have 2 times negative 2 minus 1. That is negative 4 minus 1 is negative 5. Meaning to say, there is no negative measure. So therefore, the value of x that we're going to use is x is 3. Therefore, let us have 2x minus 1. So we have 2 times the value of x, which is 3, minus 1. 2 times 3, that is 6, minus 1. Therefore, pd is 5. And we all know that pd is same as pb. If PD is 5, therefore, PB is 5. And this will be our answer. On number 43, find the diagonal of the rhombus have length 10 and 14. What is the perimeter? So to find the perimeter of the given rhombus, let us illustrate the given. So let us have a rhombus with diagonal of 10. And 14, if the measure of this diagonal is 10, it will divide by 2. So this will be 5 and 5. And this one is 14. So this will be 7 and 7. And we all know that the diagonal of a rhombus is perpendicular. So meaning to say we are going to have a right angle. And to find the measure of this side, let us have the Pythagorean theorem. So let us represent this one as x. So we have x square equals 5 square plus 7 square. So let us simplify. Let us have x square equals 5 square, that is 25, and 7 square is 49. So if we are going to add this one, this will be 74. And let us square both sides of the equation. So the value of x is square root of 74. So the measure of this side is square root of 74. Since we are looking for the perimeter, the perimeter of a rhombus is 4s. S that will be the side. So this will be 4 times square root of 74. So the perimeter is 4 square root of 74 units. And this will be our answer. On number 44, two similar triangles have perimeter 16 and 18. 
find the ratio from smaller to larger of their areas. So whenever you encounter this kind of problem, all you have to do is to get the square of their ratios. And that's the answer. So for example, since we have 16 and 18, so let us write the ratio of two similar triangles, that is 16 is to 18. 16 is to 18 can be written in simplest form because they are divisible by 2. So therefore, we have a ratio 8 is to 9. Then what are we going to do is to get the square of each ratio, 8 square, that is 64. And then 9 square, that is 81. So therefore, the ratios of their area, that is 64 is to 81 and this will be our answer on number 45 the sides of a right triangle have lengths x minus 2 2x and 2x plus 2 we are going to find the area so let us illustrate the given so if we have a right triangle so this will be the right angle so we have x minus 2, 2x, and 2x plus 2. So to find the area, we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem. So this will be c square equals a square plus b square. So let us have c, that is 2x plus 2, that is the hypotenuse, and a, that is x minus 2 square plus 2x square and let us simplify 2x multiplied by itself that is 4x square and then 2x multiplied by 2 that is 4x multiplied by the constant 2 that is 8x and 2 multiplied by itself that is 4 and on the other side x times to itself that is x square x times negative 2 that is negative 2x times the constant 2 that is negative 4x and then, negative 2 multiplied by itself, that is positive 4. And then we have 2x raised to 2, that is 4x squared. So let us cancel 4x squared on both sides of the equation. And let's have 8x plus 4 equals x squared minus 4x plus 4. And let us move 8x plus 4 on the other side. It will give us x square minus 4x minus 8x plus 4 minus 4. And then let's have x square negative 4x minus 8x that is negative 12x. And then let us cancel this one. So this will be equal to 0. And then let us factor this one. So we have x and x minus 12 equal to 0. So x is 0 and x is positive 12. So we are going to take positive 12 and we are not going to get x as 0. And then let us substitute to this one. So this will be 12 minus 2, that is 10. And this one is 12 times 2, that is 24. And we all know that the area of a right triangle is area equals one half base times height so the base is 24 and the height is 10 divide by 2 so we can divide 10 and 2 so this will be 5 and 5 times 24 it will give us 120 units square and this will be our answer so I hope you will learn from this lesson. Thank you so much for watching and God bless us all.